what's up you guys welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another cooking video yes you guys i promised myself that i was gonna do another cooking video it don't matter what it was so if you are new to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not new welcome back comment down below what other cooking video ideas you guys would love to see on this channel and also be a part of the game because we do vlogs challenges pranks cooking videos whatever so as you see by the title, I will be doing a cheesy chicken alfredo with broccoli, if that makes any sense. I know that thumbnail looks so good, y'all. But I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get straight into the ingredients that you guys would need for this. But before we get into it, you guys, I do have a pot of water on at this current moment. I do have my oil in there i am preparing for my noodles to be uh getting ready to go in there so let's get straight into it y'all okay so the very first thing you would obviously need is your meat so we went to the grocery store and i just picked up chicken tenders i didn't pick up the breast um i don't even pick up the breast anyway so i just pick up chicken tenders noodles but we do have fettuccine noodles you're supposed to use fettuccine with alfredo but we didn't have no penne noodles so the only other ones we had was the rotoni rot rotini noodles and i don't mind using these i don't want to use the long noodles today i just don't it's just you can use whatever noodles you would love to use and then so for your sauce you can and i'm gonna just say this again you can use canned sauce but over here we do not use canned sauce whatsoever so in order to make your sauce you will need heavy whipping cream you guys it don't matter what kind of heavy whipping cream that you get i have this 32 fluid ounce and then if i need extra i also have the one pint but it's half in here it's half so this this is just for extra but these two shall be enough okay so you will first need that you will need some butter you will also need some cream cheese and we just got the philadelphia brand um i need to take one out but you only need one thing of cream cheese and then also you will need parmesan cheese this has never been opened so you would need parmesan cheese and then you would need mozzarella cheese now we had this cheese in the freezer so i had to obviously thaw it out but it's still some good and then so what i'm gonna season my meat with is i'm just gonna do a little bit of complete not a lot i would love to try the roasted garlic we're gonna do our favorite the tequila lime um i'm going to add in some black pepper just a little not too much and i got to add in the onion powder not a lot not too much and also i'm just going to do regular garlic powder i'm gonna do the go roasted and the garlic powder even so it's not too much it's not too less okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm waiting on the water to come to a boil. So in the meantime, we're gonna get our cutting board, which I had over here already rinsed out in everything, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all can't see it. But see, so we're just gonna push everything to the side and we're going to get ready to chop our meat up, okay? Let's get into it. So y'all my meat is chopped up and I also forgot like one important ingredient which obviously is gonna be your broccoli florets so this is the bag that I got y'all to make it so simple and short we gonna pop these things right in the microwave so they can heat up in the bag that's the kind that 
it is i do apologize about my daughter y'all so let's get to seasoning i had already poured my noodles inside of the pot so this is onion powder Okay, so you guys, now we're gonna start making our sauce while our chicken is actually cooking. So you wanna shake. The reason I'm using these two, the, using these two first is because they're the littlest and I might use half of one so it doesn't make sense. So we're gonna pour all of it in here. And I got my stove set on medium six. So it is on literally the number six. And I like my sauce. I like my Alfredo pretty saucy. So we're just gonna go ahead and add in our second one. We're gonna let this heat up. And so I got my whisk and I'm about to add in a stick of butter. Okay, so you guys, the only thing we're waiting on, the noodles is done, the chicken is done. Um, I'm not gonna heat the broccoli up until last, but the only thing I'm waiting on, my butter melted. I'm just waiting on the cream cheese to melt. I know it looks pretty full, but it's not gonna get no fuller than this. I still have to add in the black pepper, the garlic powder, and the Parmesan cheese. So, if I have to switch pots, then I will. But we're just gonna wait on this. And that's it.
So you guys, this is the finished product. Yes, it looks so good. I'm so ready to dig in. I'm finna fix a little bit because I have to go somewhere in a quick second. Hey, hey, hey.